Hey guys, so today's video is about my watch collection. This is not me trying to brag about the watches I have. Um, most of these watches retail at over $200, but I did not pay anywhere near that. The place I used to work at gave a great discount, and that's um, when I started to buy all my watches was about four years ago. So this collection is from 2011 to 2015. And I've probably given away about 10 of them already to my mom and friends, and if I don't wear them anymore, I'll just give them away or as gifts or things like that. So I am going to start selling them. Um, I'm going to downsize a little bit because almost half of these I don't even wear anymore, or I rarely wear them. So let's get started. So this is the watch box that I keep my watches in. Um, it's brown leather. It has the clear top. Um, it has a drawer on the bottom that we'll get to later. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you guys what's inside. Please bear with me, I don't have the best camera yet, so I am working with what I have. So this is the first watch in my collection. This is a Michael Kors watch called Bradshaw. And it's yellow gold, it has the date, um, it has the stopwatch, seconds, minutes, 24 hour time. And this is a really oversized watch that... I love to wear um, with any casual outfit. And the style number on this one is MK5605. I'll also leave the style numbers down in the description just in case you guys are interested in looking any of them up. So this is one of my favorite models by Fossil. It's called Riley. It's um, yellow gold with a black face and it has the big 12 at the top. This has always been one of my favorites by Fossil. Um, I have purchased Riley in a few different colors, and this one I got for an amazing deal. Um, I actually rarely wear this one, but for the price, I couldn't pass it up. It's one of my favorite models by Fossil, and I had to have it. So this is probably one of the ones I'm going to be selling, um, unless I start to wear it more over the fall and winter. This is more of like my Christmassy watch. So the next model that I'm showing you guys here is by Michael Kors as well. This is Blair, and I do have Blair in three or four different colors. Um, obviously one of my favorite styles by Michael Kors. Um, I really like the glitz, how it's around the outside of the bezel, and then also a little bit on the corners. The style number for Blair in gold is MK5166. So I'm going to go ahead and do my Blairs together. Um, this is Blair in silver with rose gold details. The numbers are rose gold, the hands, um, the glitz, the crown and stem, all the buttons on the side here, they're all rose gold. Um, I don't wear a lot of silver, so this is a great option for me because I absolutely love rose gold. And even if I rarely wear silver, um, I will wear this watch because it's not all silver, it still throws in a little bit of rose gold, so... Love this one, and the style number is MK5459. So the next one I'm showing you guys is also Blair. This one is in chocolate brown, and it's actually... Um, I don't even know if I've worn this one yet. It's so bad. Um, last fall or winter, I swore I needed a brown watch, and so I bought this one, and I may have only worn it once. So um, it is more of a fall-winter watch, so I'll definitely be wearing this more in fall and winter coming up. So this is another Fossil watch, another Riley that I own. Um, this was actually my first Fossil watch ever. Um, I got this one for free um, after a few months of working where I used to work. And um, it's a rose gold Riley. It was my first rose gold watch. Um, this is the reason I fell in love with Riley, the reason I fell in love with rose gold. I wore this one all the time. This watch is about four years old and still looks great. Um, there's just one stone that's like a little bit discolored, so obviously there's a little bit of tarnishing, but it still looks great, and I still wear Riley from time to time. Style number on this one is ES2811. Okay, so the next watch is a yellow gold Cecile with like a coral pink orange face. Um, this watch I got myself as a graduation present when I got my first degree. And I love this watch in the summer. I wear it all the time in the summer. So this is one of my newest watches. This is also Cecile with like a Tiffany blue face. Um, it's rose gold, so of course one of my favorites. So this is also a Cecile. It is rose gold with a navy blue face. Obviously I really like Cecile. I only 
have a few Marc Jacobs watches. This is one of them. It is gunmetal and rose gold. Um, it has the date down here. And this watch I usually only wear in the fall and winter. I like to wear it with darker colors. And it looks like it's actually dead. So I'll have to change the battery on that one. So next I'm going to pull out the bottom drawer here. And I keep a lot of things in here. I have all my extra links for my watches. Um, I have a Tiffany necklace that my boyfriend got me. I have some bracelets. So... This is another Michael Kors Bradshaw watch. It's silver with a black face, and I really don't wear this one too often. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of silver. Next one I have in here is a fossil. It is white ceramic. Um, I literally probably only wore this once, and I don't even like this watch anymore. Um, I kind of wish I didn't buy it, but it was a really good deal, so that's probably the only reason I bought it. So yeah, it's a fossil. It is Riley. It is white ceramic, and it has like a... Look at this colored stone there, so I don't know if I can sell it, but yeah. So the next one is a fossil. It's called Stella, I believe. Um, this watch is all silver, so I literally never wear it. Um, I think the only time I wear this watch is when I wear my Tiffany necklace, because it's also silver, and this is the only all-silver watch I own. But other than that, I mean, I'll probably end up selling it. So the next one is this um, navy blue Marc Jacobs watch, and it has rose gold detail, like rose gold hands, um, just some rose gold detailing in the face, and I really never wear this watch. I think um, the only reason I've held on to it so long is because it's so unique. It's navy blue metal. It's the only one I've ever seen like this, so um, I do like it for that reason, and of course I like the rose gold on it, but another reason I kept this so long, even though I barely wear it, I actually won this watch at work. I got it for free, and um, I think that's a reason that I'm hesitant to let go of it. It just kind of represents that for me. Next watch I have here is a fossil. It's black ceramic. Um, I used to wear this one all the time when I first got it. This one's also a Riley, and I haven't worn it in the longest time. I don't really wear a lot of black. I think I used to wear a lot of black, and now I don't, so I'll probably end up selling this one too. So this is one of my first watches that I got, and it's also Riley. It's a white silicone. Um, as you can see, the crystal is cracked. And I never got that fixed. This happened years ago. Um, my boyfriend actually did that on accident, and I never sent it out to get it fixed, but um, the strap is interchangeable. I used to have a couple extra straps that I would switch it out with, but I've already given those away. So, yeah. The last watch I have here is Adidas, um, just like a cheap beach watch. I'll wear it on vacation or in the pool or to the beach or anything like that. It's like really light and comfortable. It's silicone. And then like I said, I just have like some bracelets in here and a whole bunch of extra links for all my watches. Um, I just like to keep these just in case like one of mine are like really discolored or scratched or I need to put in an extra link or anything like that. And then I almost forgot to show you guys the watch I have on. It's also a Michael Kors Blair. And this one's an all rose gold, so this is one of my favorites right now. I wear it all the time. And I just stacked a couple bracelets with it. These are also rose gold. This one I got on eBay. Obviously, I don't have $7,000 to buy a Cartier bracelet, so that is from eBay. And this is just a Michael Kors bracelet um, rose gold bangle that I wear often, too. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my watch collection. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Um, I'm actually not sure. Are you recording? Um. Come on, John. Action. Thank you guys for watching. Why did I do this? Oh, my boat is sticking.